Paramedics are the first to rush to a crime scene where someone gets hurt or an accident. They're trying to help out people hurt in those situations. But they're also putting themselves in harm's way after leaving those scenes. Reporter Gina Esposito learned about new technology to keep them safe and how Medic is already doing that. I'm riding in the back of an ambulance and I'm wearing a seatbelt that a paramedic or EMT would wear. We're only going about 10 miles per hour right now, but paramedics are typically treating patients while the ambulance is traveling 40 to 50 miles per hour. We don't want to have accidents, number one, and we certainly don't want anybody getting hurt. Medic Deputy Director Jeff Key says all medic trucks have some type of seatbelt in the back. They are all the same, but they do come in handy. On Friday, Channel 9 covered a minor bump up on Pineville Matthews Road. In March, a paramedic was hurt in this crash in North Charlotte, and in December, this ambulance landed on its roof. The agency averages seven wrecks a year with damage over $10,000. Thankfully, paramedics and patients involved in those crashes weren't seriously hurt, but it's something Keith keeps in the back of his mind. Rollovers like this can happen at just 25 miles per hour. Last week, safety company Emmy released a new safety feature for a four-point seatbelt to better protect people in the back from serious wrecks like rollovers. In this test, an added band helps break away and slow down any forward momentum. Seeing that, it was very interesting, and we immediately reached out to our ambulance fabricators up in West Jefferson, North Carolina. Keith says Medic is starting to investigate this new technology to see if it's right for the agency. They're also asking about cost and availability. Looking for a little more data to understand exactly how they work, but we were intrigued by what we saw. Right now, 35 ambulances have this four point seatbelt technology. The rest of the fleet has a single belt. That's something the agency wants to eventually improve. In West Charlotte, I'm Gina Esposito, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.